So for this physics project, we were trying to find a ratio of heights as to which a drop roll of toilet paper would hit the ground at the same time as an unrolled piece of toilet paper. So in order to do this, we use the conservation of energy. We set energy initial equals energy final because we know that the potential energy that you begin with is the same as the energy you end with. Um, in addition, the toilet paper roll that was unrolled when dropped has rotational trans and translational kinetic energy. However, the toilet paper roll that was just dropped regularly only has translational kinetic energy. We use the conservation of energy to find the final velocities as each one hits the ground. And then we use the equation that the, how far each one travels is equivalent to average velocity times time, and knowing average velocity is velocity initial plus velocity final divided by two. Using this information and the fact that we want the two paper towel rolls to be in the air for the same amount of time, we were able to set delta x over v equal, equivalent to delta x2 over v2. And then that way we were able to find a ratio of the heights from how high each toilet paper roll was dropped. Three, two. In this experiment, we successfully got the toilet paper rolls to hit the ground at the same time within a slight margin of error. This little bit of error could, could have come from our negligence of air resistance, maybe unrolling the toilet paper roll and then rolling it back up, slight tiny little split second differences between the times we drop them, or even just little discrepancies when we were measuring the height, we could have been like just slightly off. But overall, our derivation and ratio worked and we had a successful experiment. Yay! Yay.